Hi, and welcome to your introduction to pulling chi. I'm Kelly, and I'll help guide you through this technique. Pulling chi is a supplementary practice that you can use on its own or with another major method. It's a still practice that can offer a nice balance to a more active practice. Pulling chi is a simple yet powerful tool that allows you to build your relationship with chi or energy. It helps strengthen your connection of mind, body, and chi, helping to get into a healthier state. Let's look at the physical movement of the practice and gradually add the mind activity, how we use our mind during the practice. Start by sitting or standing in a comfortable posture, body upright. Draw the vision in and relax inside. Take some time to relax from head to toe and settle the mind. Start the movement by bringing the arms up to in front of the abdomen, palms facing each other. Bring the hands close together, almost touching. Open the hands out to about a palm's distance apart, pulling out from the elbows. Close the hands back in. Continue the physical movement in this way, opening out and closing in. To add the mind activity, imagine you have an energy or chi ball between and around the hands. As the hands open out, expand the chi ball out, and as they draw back in, draw chi inside the chi ball. Continue expanding the ball out and drawing more chi in, seeing and feeling the chi as healthy, clear, and bright. Using the practice in this way can help to calm the body and mind and build chi. You can also use the technique of kneading chi, relaxing the movement further and kneading the chi like dough, feeling light, relaxed, and free building a nice chi ball as you open the area to the universe and draw chi back. To take the practice a step further, you can connect the chi ball with a part of the body that you want to improve or strengthen. For example, the knee. Move the hands to connect your mind with that part of the body. See the whole part inside the chi ball. Turn to chi healthy and clear. As you open out, expand that part out to the universe. As you draw in, gather healthy, fresh chi into that part, seeing it as healthy and bright. If you wanna keep your hands in front of the abdomen and simply connect your mind to that part or see that part in your chi ball, you can use the technique in that way as well. If there's a part on the back you want to improve, you can keep the hands in front and simply send the mind to that part of the body. You can also use one hand if there's a part of the body you want to improve that can't use two hands. However you use the hands, continue to use the mind activity of opening out and gathering fresh pure chi in. See everything is healthy, clear, and functioning well. To finish the practice, draw the hands around to the sides, gathering chi back to the body and back to the lower dantian. Nourish chi inside. Before going on with your day, let's wake up the senses by rubbing chi into the head and face. Start by rubbing the hands together, generating chi between the hands. Next, bring the hands up to a point between the eyebrows called yin tong. Rub chi into yin tong, and then open out along the forehead, massaging into the head and out to the temples. You can imagine sending chi inside the head. Rub chi around the eyes and think of the eyes as healthy and clear. Rub chi into the side of the nose, sending information that everything is clear and unblocked. 
Rub the whole face with chi, thinking of the skin as smooth, clear, and healthy. Taking your fingers, comb chi through the head from the front to the back. You can imagine smoothing chi inside the head. Using your palms, tap chi into the head into two points, Bai Hui at the top and Ujin at the back. With your palms on the ears, vibrate chi in, everything clear. Using your thumb and index finger, massage into the ears from the tip to the lobe. Pull the lobes gently, freeing the chi flow. Let your hands relax at the sides. Finish by thinking something positive to yourself before opening your eyes.